Hello, my name is Brian Kepler. I'm Director of Discovering Translational Sciences at Metabolon. Today I'm going to talk to you about a biomarker discovery project performed within Metabolon, which led to the development of a clinical test for early indications of insulin resistance. Normal pre-diabetic and type 2 diabetic patients reveal differentiating profiles of fasting plasma glucose, insulin secretion, and insulin resistance as disease progresses. Typical measurements for these include hyperinsulinemic euglycemic clamp, HOMA IR, and OGTT based models. However, some of these are not practical and others are not very accurate. So reliable routine markers are still needed. In addition, current glycemic tests don't measure IR. IR can be present in more than 10 years prior to diabetes. So what Metabolon sought to do was to generate and validate a simple test for insulin resistance that was a surrogate of the clamp. Using Metabolon's global untargeted biochemical profiling platform, we identified metabolites in 399 non-diabetic patients from the EGIR risk study cohort, all of whom had clamp data, which is the gold standard test, and identified metabolites which were more indicative of insulin resistance. We took this to targeted assays, identifying 26 candidate biomarkers, finally leading to the development of an algorithm, which was four variables, three of which were metabolites. We correlated the metabolites to the clamp data and developed and validated this final algorithm. The algorithm was found to outperform fasting glucose, fasting insulin, BMI, OGIS, or HOMA IR for estimating insulin sensitivity and identifying subjects with IR. In a retrospective trial in the ACT NOW cohort, the algorithm, also, the algorithm scores also improved with drug treatment, while the HB hemoglobin A1C does not. This is a clear illustration of the biomarker continuum paradigm with metabolomics, which can be readily replicated in other indications.